Okay, let's do practice exercise 2. Question 15. A candidate was asked to find 5 eighth of a positive number. He found 5 eighteenth of the same by mistake. His, if his answer was 125 less than the correct one, then the original number was. Standard method is, let the number be x. You are supposed to find 5 by 8 of x. You found 5 by 18 of x. This is equal to 125. Now this should tell you that your answer or the original number, answer which is x should be multiple of 8 as well as 18. It, because we are finding 5 by 8 of x, so it should be a multiple of 8. We are finding 5 by 18 of x, so again x should be a multiple of 18. So if the number has to be multiple of 8 and 18, the choice which is not a multiple of 8 and 18 has to be incorrect. Now, look at the choices. This is not a multiple of 8. This is incorrect. 180 is again not a multiple of 8. 240 is not a multiple of 18. So, that is also incorrect. So, our answer in this particular question can either be 360 or none of these. Since you have eliminated 3 of the choices, let's check out what is 5 by 8 of 360. And... 5 by 18 of 360 and check out the difference between the two. If it is equal to 1, 125, that's the answer. Otherwise, none of these is the answer. So, 18 into 20. So, this is 5 into 20 is 100. 8 into 4 is 32. 8 for the 32. Then we have 40. 8 5 is 45. So, 45 into 5 is 225. 225 minus 100 is equal to 125. Which tallies with the data given. Correct answer is choice A. So, so, in this question, while this is not a difficult calculation, this is not going to be very difficult, you can still save time if you just focus on the denominator. My starting point, as I said earlier, was that x should be a multiple of both 8 as well as 18. Since b, c and d, 240, 180 and 3, 270, they are not multiples of either 8 or 18, so they have to be incorrect. Out of the remaining two choices, 360 and none of these, I verified 360. 360 into 5 by 8 and 360 into 5 by 18, it gave me a difference of 125, so that had to be the correct answer. And hence, I marked the answer as choice A.